Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important verse and meditate on it as we read Genesis chapter 5 verse 24. Genesis 5 24 And Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. Amen. A wonderful and a mighty verse as we read from the King James Version Bible. It says, And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us, guide us, help us, be with us, and bless us. Amen. As we see, the verse speaks mightily. Let us also walk with God. As Enoch, Enoch walked with God. Yes, and yes, the word is true, which says God took him. Yes, let us commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. He will take care of our past, present and future. He will lead us, guide us and help us. Psalm 32 verse 8 is true. He is our Emmanuel, Ebenezer, Yahweh Ere, Yahweh Shama, Yahweh Al Shaddai. Yes, He will take care of us and He will bless us abundantly. As we read in Psalm 36 verse 8, Ephesians 3 verse 20. Many times we have hard days, bad days, we have good days also, days of plenty and days of famine. In all these things let us praise the Lord. As the word says, in days of famine we will enjoy plenty. As the word speaks, as we read in Psalm 37, yes, verse 19. The word says in Psalm 34, verse 19, Many afflictions the righteous will have, but the Lord will deliver him of them all. Hallelujah! Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him of them all. Yes, so let us cast all a burden on our mighty God. He will deliver us. The word is true as we read in 1 Peter 5, 7. Casting all your cares upon the Lord, for He cares for you. Yes, we worry about future many times. What will be our tomorrow? Who will be there with us and who will take care of us? But the word says, as we read the mighty word, it says that do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Many are the cares of the day. Yes, Matthew 6 verse 34 is true. Why take a thought? The word says in Matthew 6 verse 28. Let us arise and shine. Isaiah 60 verse 1 is true. Let us walk in the light of our Lord Jesus Christ, for He is the light of the world. John 8 12. He is our Emmanuel, God with us. He is our Ebenezer, God will help us. And He is our Yahweh Ede, God will provide. Hallelujah. Genesis 22 verse 14. Genesis 22 verse 8. It will not go empty. The word is true as it says, My glory is fresh within me, and my bow is renewed in my hand. As we read in Job 29 verse 20, In a daily life also, we may come across a life like Job. He was the richest man who became the poorest, but a mighty God also raised him up from the dust. As we always read a story from rags to riches, but this is a true story of a man 
name Job. Yes, Satan wanted to try him. He took out everything from him and he thought that he will leave the living God. But we see the mighty hand of our living God. As it says in Job 42 verse 2, it speaks that he can do everything that is a living God. He can do everything and none of his purpose can be withheld from him. Hallelujah. Yes, believe these words, beloved. For the word says, only believe. Mark 5 verse 36. I am witness of Lord Jesus Christ. At a particular stage of life where everything turned futile, the words came true in my life. Fear not, only believe. Mark 5 verse 36. He is our mighty God and He will take care of our past, present and future. However tainted life you may have in the past, Jesus Christ is able to change your life and my life. For He came in this world not for the righteous, but sinners for repentance. Hallelujah. The word is true. Matthew 9 verse 13. As we read in Psalm 121, it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. Yes. Let us always be encouraged and commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. The word is true in Psalm 32 verse 8. It says, He will lead us, guide us, help us, counsel us, and watch over us. The words are true, beloved. Always seek the counsel of the Lord, as we read in 1 Chronicles 14 verse 10. Yes, for the word is true, it says, as we read in Matthew 19, 26, it speaks that there is nothing impossible for our living God. For with God, all things are possible. As we also read in Luke 1 verse 37. Yes, be encouraged, my dear brother, my dear sister. For God has a plan for you and me. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For mighty God knows our thoughts. It says he has plans of future, hope, prosperity, peace and welfare for you and me, beloved. Yes, for let us commit every, every small and big burden unto the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the God of the living and not the dead and all live to him. As we read the mighty word, it speaks in Luke 20 verse 38. As we see the word is fire, it is hammer and also, yes, the hammer which breaks the rock into pieces. And he who speaks the word, let him speak it faithfully. The word is true as we read in Jeremiah 23, yes, verse 28, hallelujah. For as we read in Job 23, verse 14, it says, all the purpose in my life is as per his appointment, hallelujah. Yes, this will happen when we commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. I and my Father are one. The word says from John 10, verse 30. Jesus Christ is the way, the way, beloved, the truth and the life. As we read in John 14, verse 6, the word is true. He is the living waters, John 4, 10, and also he will also deliver us. The word is true. The angel of the Lord encampeth around those that fear him, and he 
delivers them as we read in psalm 34 the word is true yes in verse 7 those who look to him are radiant and the faces are never covered with shame the word is true as we read in psalm 34 yes the word speaks also yes let us be encouraged the word speaks in verse 5 hallelujah as we read in psalm 37 the word says three times trust in the lord trust in the lord trust in the lord rest in the lord and also yes let us be encouraged yes and wait upon the lord the words appear three times in psalm 37 wait upon the lord wait upon the lord wait upon the lord as we read in psalm 46 verse 10 the word says that be still and know that i am god hallelujah yes everything is possible with our mighty god hallelujah yes and he will make a way for us where there is no way as we read in exodus 40 verse 38 he made a way for us through the red sea yes for he is our loving father the nature of a god is revealed as we read in exodus chapter 34 he is a god full of love compassion mercy abounding in grace he forgives our sins yes and the word is true he is our i am who i am exodus 3 verse 14 for our every situation in life remember god has given us this word it says in exodus 33 verse 14 my presence shall go with thee and i will give you rest hallelujah yes and the blessing for this year is as we read the prophecy and also the word for this year is a mighty god will come upon us as dew as we read in hushai 14 verse 5 god is able to change your situation and my situation he has all power and authority matthew 28 is true and even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of jesus of nazareth hallelujah yes so be encouraged my dear brother my dear sister and do not quit in life do not give up in life for jeremiah 1 verse 5 says even before he formed us in the womb he knew us hallelujah yes he will carry us he will deliver us he will bear us the words are true in isaiah 46 verse 4 As the 46 verse 10 says as from the beginning a mighty god knows the end the word is true he will never leave us nor forsake us Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 is true yes and in all these things we are more than conquerors Romans 8 verse 37 yes be encouraged and be blessed today and every day as the word says that there will be showers of blessing in your house and my house as we read in ezekiel 34 26 let us make it a point come what may to read the bible the manna to our soul and the road map of life let us meditate on the word of our living god every day give at least half an hour from the 24 hours and read the bible and let us wear the armor of god as we wake up in the morning as the birds praise the lord let us also praise the lord as it says we thank you for your faithfulness at night and loving kindness in the morning psalm 92 verse 2 and the word says as we read further in psalm 68 it speaks in verse 70 and 90 there are 20000 chariots for each one of us yes the word is true and it says further That is bless his name for he daily loads us with benefits as we wear the armor of God Ephesians 6 it is true as we read in verse 11 that is the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness the belt of truth the shield of faith the sword of the old testament new testament king james version bible 
and the shoes or sandals of gospel of peace. Let us be ready, beloved. Let us be encouraged. Yes, and also let us be victorious for the victory rests with our mighty God. Proverbs 21 verse 31 is true. Commit yourself in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. He will take care of you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. The word will not fail. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, Joshua 1 verse 9 and also we read in Matthew 28 and Psalm 48 verse 14, He is a guide even unto death. Hallelujah. God bless you. Let us pray for those who are on the sick bed. Abba, Father, we come in your mighty presence. Be with each of my brother, sister, children. Take care of them and heal them in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. For with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us, you heal us. You took our infirmities and carried our diseases. As we read in Matthew, the word is true. It speaks in chapter 8 verse we read hallelujah in 17. I pray that today be our Emmanuel, God with us, Ebenezer, God will help us, and our Yahweh, Ire, God will provide. Genesis 22 verse 14. Yes, fill us with thy joy, for the Lord, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Nehemiah 8.10 is true. Provide all our needs and also give us wisdom for the day and every day. As you are the fountain of wisdom, James 1 verse 5 and Proverbs 9 verse 10. Thank you for loving us. Help us also to love you with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. The first commandment written by the finger of God. Exodus 20. Yes, and let us love one another. As we read in Luke 10, yes, 25 to 27, and we shall live. Hallelujah. Thank you for this time to pray and for blessing us and providing all our needs. Bless my every listener with finances. We rebuke every satanic power to live in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Let there be showers of blessing, Ezekiel 34, 26, in every listener's home. Thank you for answering our prayer. Thank you for loving us. This prayer we ask in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Remember, the word says in Psalm 68 verse 4, 5, 6, it says that his name is Yah. He is the father of the fatherless and defender of the widow. He will set the bound into prosperity and also he will place the single in families. That is our mighty God. Psalm 68, 456. God bless you. Amen. Amen.